at the highest I was 3,500 in measurement. The average person, like you would be, anything below 50 is regarded as normal. I was three and a half thousand, so I was totally inflamed. My body was just awful and, and, and I couldn't repair. Um, so I, my test results have come back and they're 17. So they're like in really good order. I feel I've lots of energy, I'm good. I had all my infusions. So yeah, it's been a pretty good experience. I couldn't, couldn't knock it. Everyone's been really, really good and friendly. Uh, my name is uh, Dan Healy, I'm from Ireland. Um, I have, um, the last two and a half years, have ulcerative colitis. Similar to the Crohn's uh, disease family. So I've been fighting it uh, with, as I said, two and a half years where I've had pretty bad um, episodes um, and flare up. So I decided then to look into uh, stem cells to see would that help me with, um, with my remission. Okay. And can you please elaborate more about uh, the symptoms, how it was uh, revealed during the day? Sure, yeah. So, um, I uh, would get terrible pains in my um, in my stomach and uh, then I would start um, going to the toilet, lots of blood. Uh, so that happened for, for, for a long time. I was in hospital for three weeks uh, fully um, on uh, lots of steroids, on uh, morphine to help with the pain and uh, it, was, it was very, very uncomfortable. So I've had lots of flares since. Uh, and the flare would be uh, making you really sick in your stomach, uh, going to the toilet a lot every day, um, and you're totally exhausted all the time. And you have to like, it's difficult to go out late at night or anything or early in the morning, I have to be kind of close to a toilet. So then I decided to look into, um, into stem cells as, a, as a, an alternative. And how did you know about the stem cells? Um, just from, from speaking with friends. Um, uh, my uh, very good friend of mine's mother, she had um, had stem cells treatment and um, for her shoulder, but it actually helped her colitis. So uh, then I just started looking into it more. And then I found um, Swiss Medica online. Mm -hmm. And did you have any fears, uh, obstacles, uh, before coming to the treatment about it, about the stem cells itself? Yeah, um, I suppose it was just a bit nervous because it's new. Um, not new, but it's new in medicine maybe um, as an alternative to me. But I, when I heard that she, my friend's mother, did so well, I, uh, I wanted to give it a, a go. I, I said to myself, it can't do any harm. So that's why I, um, I chose. Mm -hmm. And can you please guide us uh, through the process, uh, let's say from the beginning, like you, you came to the airport, uh, you done procedures, doctors, sure. nurses, uh, dinner, lunch, uh, as a clinic itself, the living condition and stuff. Like yeah, that. sure. So um, it was very well organized from uh, their team contacted me and gave me all the agenda and what was going to happen. So uh, then I landed here on Sunday afternoon. Um, somebody was there to collect me and bring me to, um, to the clinic um, where the, there was nurses waiting, very welcoming, place is very nice, the room is lovely, food is lovely. Um, the team in general are very, very friendly. Um, everyone is very helpful um, and makes you kind of very, um, very com it's comforting place. Um, I didn't feel like a a awkward at any 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 um, at any time. Um, then the, the next morning, I had my um, all my blood tests, um, and then uh, some vitamins infusions first, and then I had a meeting with the doctor, then who outlined basically what stem cells I was getting and when. Uh, so it's very clear to me and then just a very detailed um, discussion on my condition and how it could help me and what, what I was expecting from the week and, and just it, it, that was um, that was day one. Day two then was um, 
the first of three stem cells that I got. Um, so that, that went fine. I felt really, really fine after the first set. Um, I was able to go for a run and eat fine. Then the second day, I had a, another stem cell and I had a really bad reaction to that stem cell. But the team, were, I was shivering and I had a high fever. Um, but the team were on place and they really looked after me because I was, I was quite um, upset with it because it was, I didn't know what was happening to my body. I was continuously shaking. So um, that was uh, a, um, that was a, you know, a bit of a, a curve ball in the whole week. I wasn't expecting, but the team were great. They were on me all the time, got my temperature down, checking on me every hour. And then today, um, so I had a day off yesterday. And then today, Friday, I had the, the final umbilical cord uh, stem cell which um, I'm feeling fine after. I feel I've lots of energy, I'm good. I had all my infusions. So yeah, it's been a pretty good experience. I couldn't, couldn't knock it. Everyone's been really, really good and friendly. And can you please tell me what kind of stem cells have you done? Oh, um, own or to uh, I, I don't know the names, sorry. Uh, no, I mean own or donor stem cells. A uh, donor. Donor stem cells. And did you get them uh, via Drip, IV drip, or yeah, uh, uh, IV drip, and also enemas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had um, five enemas as well at night uh, because, particularly for my colitis, so it was very specific to um, what I needed. Okay, and uh, have you noticed any improvements so far? At the yeah, moment? a little. Yeah, already I've felt my stool has been better. I feel, um, yeah, not that. In myself it's a bit better already and my um i got had some my blood results have been quite good so far and also they did a stool test um which when you have colitis at the highest i was three thousand five hundred in measurement the average person like you would be anything below 50 is regarded as normal i was three and a half thousand so i was totally inflamed my body was just mm. awful and, and, and I couldn't repair um, so I, my test results have come back and they're 17 so they're like in really good order so and uh, in terms of feeling something in terms of metrics uh, okay but in terms of feeling how do you feel uh, I mean it's very early I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm realistic this is going to take months not it's a lifestyle change as well you know so it's um, I'm realistic that this is a thing that may may have to get done maybe again, but um, I'm I'm very positive about the whole situation so far. Okay, and uh, what were your expectations before coming to to the clinic? Um, I didn't come in with any expectations to be to be open and honest. I just wanted it to be smooth, um, that I keep an open mind, and that the the results will 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 say for itself after after a bit of time. And uh, what have you seen or heard about our clinics that you decided to come here? Um, just online and um, I spoke to my doctor and he kind of checked it out and he was like, yeah, it's a good clinic. So that's how I kind of just went for it then. I didn't, didn't really think about it much. Does your doctor spoke to our doctors? No. Or, no, only you? No. Only you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, you consulted with your doctor and the doctor uh, said to you that you can try. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because uh, when I speak to different patients, usually it's quite opposite. Do doctors uh, don't recommend. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Yeah. 